The person that is going to wear St. Edward's crown on 6th of May 2023 is going to be King Charles. In less than a week, King Charles will enter Westminster Abbey for an event not seen in this country for 70 years. For Britain's children and indeed their parents, Saturday the 6th of May is the first chance to see St. Edward's crown placed on the monarch's head. While more than three quarters of over 65s want to continue with the monarchy, rather than an elected head of state, less than a third of 18 to 24-year-olds agree, according to the latest YouGov poll. The monarchy has a big challenge to engage younger generations, and the government's been looking for an opportunity to celebrate the new reign with Britain's schoolchildren. Kings of Scotland were crowned at their coronation sitting on the stone of Scoon. Describe the stone with your partner. Ten seconds. What shape is it? GB News has been given exclusive access into a coronation lesson commissioned by the Department for Education, soon to be available in all schools across England. Steve Mastin, a teacher and education consultant, was tasked with designing a lesson simple enough to engage young children. I don't think you have to be a, a pro-monarchy teacher to teach a lesson about the coronation because I think the Department of Education was thinking children should know what's going to happen on May the 6th, otherwise it's just a TV programme where a crown gets put on King Charles's head. But of course it's much, much more than that. It's part of our history that goes back a thousand years. The Year 4 class at St Mary's Church of England Primary School in North West London learnt about the special objects they'll see on Saturday. My favourite object that we learn is the orb because it represents good. My favourite part of the lesson was when we learnt about how King Charles has, has to hold a scepter with the orb in both hands. I found out a new word. It's actually a Latin word called corona. It means crown. Separate material has been made for both primary and secondary schools, and schools minister Nick Gibb wants to ensure young people understand the significance of the coronation. They need to understand really how important it is in terms of our, uh, the way our country is governed, that, it, that the monarchy does play an important part in our constitution, albeit a constitutional monarchy rather than a monarchy with real power. But it's important that they do understand that and all the symbolism that comes from the coronation. So can I see you holding an orb, please? It's very heavy. Very heavy. The coronation is multi-generational. Two future kings will be present, and nine-year-old Prince George will be one of his grandfather's pages. His first glimpse of a crown he'll one day wear. Cameron Walker, GB News.